Hello and welcome to this Follow the Wire video for our OEM customers and partners. In this session, we're going to discuss a recent development in the fiber channel industry called sand congestion mitigation. Congestion. It's not a good thing on the road or in your storage area network. And with today's sands, congestion does occur, although infrequently, because the storage devices are usually the slowest devices in the network. Now, when it does occur, it can be very time consuming to detect and even more so to resolve. And with more NVMe native storage being deployed in the data center, the storage device may no longer be the bottleneck and there's a chance that the frequency of sand congestion or slow drain, as we call it, uh, that that will increase. To address this, the fiber channel switch and HBA vendors are working to together to develop real-time SAN mitigation capabilities that will enable the SAN infrastructure device to detect and remediate issues that might occur. This is called SAN congestion mitigation in the fiber channel world. Let's look at a bit more detail at what creates congestion in the SAN and what is being done to address it. In a well-designed SAN, every host has plenty of bandwidth available to access the storage and I.O. commands are free to flow back and forth. Now, In this diagram, we have two servers with 16 gigabit fiber channel HPAs in the host and two with 32 gig fiber channel HPAs. Now, these are connected to 16 gig fiber channel and 32 gig fiber channel storage arrays across the SAN. All host servers are balanced and delivering good performance at this point in time. Problems arise when workloads are added to a server that drive the utilization to the max. Now, this can cause an overutilized server to clog up the SAN and create congestion. In this case, what we call the noisy neighbor server is limiting access of the other servers to the storage. This is most problematic when we have mixed speed devices, such as a server with a 16 gig HBA talking to a 32 gig fiber channel storage array. Now, if you recall from our What is Fiber Channel video, Fiber Channel uses a finite number of buffer credits to allow for in-order frame delivery. And that ensures that data transmissions occur successfully before new transmissions can be uh, executed. So when a slow host is married to a fast target over time, this host can't respond fast enough and a large quantity of buffer credits start to be consumed, slowing down the other devices in the SAN as there are no buffer credits for, available for them to use. To address these congestion issues, the Fiber Channel Industry Association Group implemented the use of Fiber Channel Impact Notification, or FPIN, to allow devices connected within the SAN to communicate with each other about congestion-related issues. Now, in this picture, the congested server HBA gets messages from the fiber channel switch that it is the cause of the congestion in the SAN. The other HPAs are also getting these FPIN messages that there is congestion in the SAN so they can take action. The HPA in the offending server can take corrective action to implement I.O. leveling and reduce the impact it's making on the overall SAN data flow then this allows the other devices on the SAN to return to normal operation. Switch vendors have implemented proprietary capabilities to address slow drain congestion. Dynamic ingress rate limiting is implemented by Cisco, and slow drain device quarantine, port fencing, and tra traffic optimizer uh, technologies are implemented by Brocade. The fiber channel industry has adopted a means of allowing HPAs and switches to communicate to each other about congestion situations. HPA vendors are leveraging these fabric performance impact notifications to take initiator-based actions when congestion in the SAN is detected. With FPIN, the switches notify the HPAs that there's congestion and the HPA driver and firmware can then react to this notification and take corrective action. Over time, the collaborative efforts uh, between the switch and the HPA uh, vendors will result in joint actions by both the HPA and the switch in unison uh, with the support of things like virtual lanes, quality of service, and isolation techniques. FPIN has been implemented in the latest fiber channel hardware to allow for switches to notify the adapters that issues arise. 
there are four types of notifications. Link integrity, this is the physical connection is having issues. Congestion, the HVA port on the specific adapter is creating congestion on the fabric. Peer congestion is a notification that there is congestion on the fabric, but it's coming from another port. And then delivery is a notification where the fabric is timing out and there are delivery issues. At Marvell, we implemented Universal Sand Congestion Mitigation, or USCM, in our QLogic adapters. We use the term universal to note that we're supported by both Brocade and Cisco in their SAN environments. Note that implementation of USCM is in the driver. Therefore, the functionality applies to all currently shipping HBAs, including the QLE 2690 series and the QLE 2700 series HBAs. Upon notification, the HBA can then take corrective action which could include reducing the I.O. transfer rate or switching the traffic to an alternate path. Marvell QLogic Fiber Channel HPAs support all four of the FPIN notifications in standard firmware and, as mentioned before, are compatible with both uh, Brocade and Cisco switches. Now, competitor HPA offerings also support FPIN notifications, but they only provide the link integrity feature as part of their standard offering. For other notifications, Customers must purchase additional software, and licenses must be enabled. The USCM capability is enabled by default in all current versions of QLogic Fiber Channel HBA firmware. Here's an example to show what is enabled in standard firmware for QLogic and competitor HBAs. On the left, you'll see that only the FPIN link integrity is enabled by default on the competitor adapters. The other three notification features are not enabled by default. Uh, to get these notifications, customers purchase the HPA vendor's management software and enterprise licenses. Now on the right, you can see all four FPN functions are enabled by default on QLogic adapters. No additional software is required. FPN communications is supported by Brocade, FOSS 9.0 or later, and with Cisco Fiber Channel Switch Management, NXS 8.5.1 or later. Here's the portfolio of QLogic HPAs that support universal SAN congestion mitigation. The QLE 2690 series is our enhanced 16 gigabit HPAs. The QLE 2740 series are the 32 gig fiber channel HPAs. And the QLE 2770 series um, are our enhanced 32 gig fiber channel HPAs. All these adapters support SAN congestion mitigation along with other key features like port isolation, unified drivers for uh, NVMe, and VMID and store fusion features. Here are the key takeaways for this video. SAN congestion issues are likely to increase with the deployment of NVMe native storage arrays. Fabric Performance Impact Notification, or FPIN messaging, has been implemented by the fiber channel industry to allow SAN infrastructure components to communicate about congestion issues and take action to mitigate the congestion. QLogic HPAs fully support all FPIN notifications across both fiber channel switch vendors at no additional cost. Using QLogic HPAs will save your clients money and time. Well, that's it for this video. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic to find out more about Marvell and QLogic Fiber Channel HPA technology. And be sure to check out our other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. Thanks for your time and your attention. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.